We all have those days where we have no motivation to get anything done around the house. Maybe even just getting up in the morning is a difficult task to do, whether you're sick, unmotivated, or just depressed, or whatever reason it may be, it can be difficult to get up and get things done. Lately, I've been feeling down, so if you're on the same boat as me and you also still need to get things done because life goes on no matter what, I hope this video helps you to push yourself as well and get up and just have a clean and tidy home. We all know that a clean and tidy home will make us feel better, so let's get started. I'm going to start in the kitchen because yikes, look at this mess. I cannot stand looking at it any longer and I know it's not going to clean up after itself so I have to get it done. As much as I don't like to clean, I do love seeing my kitchen tidy and clean. Sometimes I wish I could just have someone else do it for me but that's not the case. I'm the one that does all the cleaning around here. Even when you have your bad days, it's not going to get done itself. All I want to do is lay on the couch, cuddle with my dog, watch a really nice movie, maybe have some hot cocoa or something because it's been super cold here these days. But no, I have to get up and get things done. Today is one of these days where I'm not aiming for perfection or deep cleaning or anything like that. I'm just going to do the best that I can with the little energy that I have. I will take a break if I need to, if I'm not feeling it anymore, but even if I just give myself 5 minutes, 10 minutes to get something done in the kitchen or wherever else in my home, I know it's going to make a big difference and it's going to be good for me. At the end of it, I am going to feel better. There have been a few things on my mind that have led me to feel this way lately and I kind of want to talk about a couple of them. The first one is money related and our lease is actually ending in just a few weeks so that means that our rent is going to increase if we want to stay. So normally we have about a $50 increase in our rent but this time it's three times that amount which is pretty significant and it's just has to deal with how the market is here in the area and there's nothing that I can do about it. I've lived here for like seven years now and even though I like my apartment and space, sometimes I feel like I've outgrown it a little bit and there's definitely some things about this apartment that I don't like anymore and would like to upgrade to a new or bigger space. However, with the way the market is and inflation and all those other factors, it has become difficult for us to find a new place during these times and if we want to stay it's still going to be a better deal than if we move elsewhere but still that comes with the rent increase which kind of sucks because with inflation and all these price increases the thing is that my income is not rising to help cover these costs so i just get a little bit stressed and overwhelmed thinking about that i do have a full-time job i do have a couple of side hustles including this youtube channel but i don't make a ton of money like these other youtubers do and that also kind of leads me to my next topic of why i've been feeling this way and it has to do with youtube i've been making youtube videos for several years now and by this point i thought i would be a much bigger content creator than i currently am i try not to compare myself to other people especially people in my decluttering and minimalism niche but I'm only human and I can't help myself but compare to others in my field. There are many times where I just want to completely give up and maybe move on to something else that's going to help me generate more income because YouTube does not pay me enough to make this a part-time let alone a full-time job like when I see other people that talk about the same things that I do on their YouTube channel and they're over here living off a full-time income. Don't get me wrong, I'm so happy for my peers that are doing so well and financially as well. But then I look at myself and my channel and I take a look at the things like the time spent recording a video, the time spent editing and uploading, all, all these other factors that go into making a YouTube video, sometimes I wonder if it's something that I should continue pursuing. I know money is not everything and that's why I've been 
sticking to this channel for so many years without making a livable wage from it because I truly do enjoy filming videos, talking to you guys, engaging with my community, my very small community, but I still love to film and edit and upload these videos for you guys. I just wish I was getting more brand deals and sponsorships or at least making enough from the ads revenue that makes my time and effort worth it. So those are just a couple of things on my mind. If you're a content creator, you probably can relate to this as well, where you feel like you are putting all this time and effort, but you're not really seeing the results that you are hoping for. So those are just a couple of things that have been on my mind that's been making me feel very unmotivated and depressed. In regards to finances, maybe you guys can relate as well, just with the way the economy is right now and inflation and all those things that play a factor into life. Let me know down below if you ever have felt this way and just curious to see what your thoughts are as well. Going back to my YouTube channel, my views for the last couple of videos I've uploaded have been lower than what I'd like to see or the average at least on my YouTube channel and that also has been not very motivating for me to create videos on here. The videos that do well on my YouTube channel have to do with decluttering which is something that I love to do but as you guys know I've been decluttering my home for years and I have just gotten to the point where I'm not having massive decluttering sessions in my home anymore. Since I've decluttered so much, the only times that I really do declutter is seasonally now and even then I feel like I don't have a ton of stuff to show you anymore. So that's why I began helping my parents and my family to declutter their space and their home. A lot of people will comment on my videos requesting to see the garage and I definitely see those comments and I have it in my mind to where I'm going to focus on going back to their garage and just even sharing an update for you guys but I decided to take a little bit of a break with that because of other reasons that I will be sharing very soon here in a separate video. That's why I began to focus in other areas of their home like decluttering their kitchen, the laundry room, helping my sister out. But whenever I do come over and I do take a peek into the garage, it definitely needs some help again. So I would like to let you know that I do plan to return to the garage. Besides helping declutter my family's home, I also would like to help other people declutter their homes. Like I said, I don't have much to declutter of my own now, so there's nothing exciting to share here and you guys have already seen a lot of content from me decluttering my parents' house, so the next step that makes sense for me is to help other people declutter. Decluttering and organizing is something that I'm passionate about and that's the kind of content that will be featured here on my YouTube channel moving forward. Not only because it gets me better views, but like I said, decluttering is my passion and I really, really enjoy doing it and I just want to help other people too. So if you're watching this video and you or you know somebody who lives within the SoCal Orange County area, let me know in the comments or send me an email and maybe I can come over and help declutter your space for you. I'm looking for people and homes to feature on my YouTube channel, so you must be comfortable with sharing your space with the internet. I think that is going to be very fun and exciting, not just for my viewers, but for myself as well, just so it keeps me on my toes and I can still continue love what I'm doing. At this point in the video, my kitchen is looking so much better. The kitchen counter is clean, the dishes are washed, some are on the counter just drying. I love seeing my coffee counter nice and clean, so this makes me feel good as well. And then I'm just going to light up a candle to finish it off in the kitchen. I just got the mail and I saw my package with these Space A drawer organizers. And something that makes me feel better is when my place is not just tidy but organized as well. And I'm a sucker for a good organizational system, so let's see if this works out in my kitchen. I currently have some containers in place, but maybe this will work better, so let's try it out. 
A while ago, I did a video organizing my kitchen and I had gotten these bamboo containers for the drawers in my kitchen and I've been using them this whole time which have been working out great but I've always been curious to try these drawer dividers. I've read great reviews about them. I see awesome videos of them being used. So I'm going to try it out in my kitchen, especially in this drawer where nothing's organized. And I'm looking forward to using it in this drawer here. I also still love my handheld vacuum. It's so perfect for getting into spaces like these. I don't know how I lived without one, but ever since I got it, it's been amazing and so handy. So I'm using it to clean out the drawers here. Links to the items I'm using in this video can always be found in my description box below and my Amazon storefront. These drawer dividers are really awesome because they're expandable, so you can adjust it to however length you want. It also comes with these pieces that you can add to create a smaller sections, which is awesome. So I had to figure out how I wanted to organize this drawer now and I decided to put all these similar items together. My partner is the one who uses all like cooking utensils and everything in the kitchen. So, so I'm just here hoping that I'm organizing it just right for him. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't have much to declutter anymore these days, but my new favorite thing to do now is to organize all the things that I do have and want to keep. So it's been really nice now that I have everything that I want and need and now just trying to figure out what the best organization solution is for my space. There are tons of bins and organizational systems out there and I'm still trying to find what's going to work best for me and I'm hoping that these new drawer dividers are going to be just right for these drawers. That's the one great thing about decluttering is once you get to that point where you're satisfied with your space, now you can do the fun part, which is organizing. This is what this drawer looks like. I've had these containers in here for a while, which are fine, but I want to see if the drawer dividers will make this a little bit better. I've been testing out different methods, different bins, different sizes, and it's been fun playing around and seeing what works for the space. Not every organizational item is going to work for everyone's space because everyone is different, but if you're interested in my favorites, again, you can find links in my Amazon storefront to my favorite items that I use. This is how the drawer looks like now. I really like that you're able to customize the sections, however big or small you want, which is pretty neat because with the other containers, obviously you're limited with how much space you have. And I like it so far, so I hope that it works out for the long run. Moving on, I remembered that I need to clean my dog's bowls and pick up her toys. So she is a messy eater, so I have to clean the floor here and the splatters on the wall. I also have to throw the throw pillows in the wash as well as this blanket that we use every single night during these cold times. So just taking a few seconds to put these in the wash. I'm not aiming to do a whole apartment clean today. It's just focusing on little things that I have the energy to do, but that also need to get done today. So even if it's just cleaning my dog's bowls and picking up after her and other small things that I need to wash, it all makes a difference. I also want to share some tips that can help if you're also feeling unmotivated or depressed because it can be a challenging task but by breaking it down into smaller, more manageable steps, it's more achievable. The first thing you want to do is set small achievable goals. Like I just said, instead of trying to clean my entire apartment, I'm just focusing on smaller tasks. You can focus on cleaning one room or even just one area within a room. I decided that I needed to obviously tackle the kitchen, which was the biggest task to do, but that needed to be done. But there are other smaller tasks that I needed to do like water my plants and clean after my dog. 
Setting a timer is also helpful for committing to cleaning for a short, specific period of time like 10 or 15 minutes. Knowing that there's a time limit can make the task feel less overwhelming. And after those 10 or 15 minutes are up, you can be completely done or you can continue focusing on other small tasks, which is what I did today. Listening to music or a podcast can also be helpful. Earlier, you saw me put on my earbuds and I was listening to music that makes me happy, which was helpful when I was cleaning. If you have a playlist of your favorite music or you like to listen to a podcast while you clean, this can make the experience more enjoyable and distract you from negative thoughts. Focus on the essentials. Maybe there are a ton of things that need to be done, but prioritize tasks that contribute to a clean and comfortable living environment, which can include getting rid of clutter, doing laundry, or washing dishes. Also, remember to practice self-compassion. Understand that it's okay to feel unmotivated or down at times. Always be kind to yourself and acknowledge the effort you're putting into getting things done no matter how small it is. And the last tip is to reward yourself. Plan a small reward for yourself after completing a task. It can be watching your favorite show, maybe getting some ice cream, or doing something else that you find pleasurable. I totally forgot that I left these towels in the dryer last night. I did not have the energy to take them out and fold them then, so I have to take them out today and fold them and put them away. It's also okay to start something and not finish it that same day. Like for example, these towels, I washed them and dried them the day before, but I did not have the energy to fold them or put them away, so it's okay to leave it for the next day. I hope you enjoyed cleaning with me in today's video and remember it's okay to not feel so great to do the things that you need to do. This was all that I had the energy for and capacity for today. So I'm just going to lay here and do nothing for the rest of the day. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet and I'll see you guys very soon.